What goes through your mind with a fight? It's it doesn't change really from fight to fight because you still want the same result at the end. You still want to win. So through your mind, you you, you think about not giving up. You think about winning. You think about the end result. You know that that always goes through your mind. I fight so often. I feel like I never stop thinking about it. This particular fight, with it being the opponent, it is uh, the caliber of the show, and and for the title, it is. It's, you know, you you've got more to think about, or should I say, you've got more exciting things to, to push you through training. I choose to do this. You know, fortunately, you know, it's one of the things I've been pushed into, and you know, he has to do it. You know, sometimes we have to have to fight to eat, you know, and, and, and to live. And you know, I've been in a camp in Thailand before where they, they didn't even want to train, you know, but they had to because they, they couldn't go anywhere else. And when they went home, it was too poor. You know, fortunately, I want to do this, so I want to train, so I want to fight, I want to keep competing. So that's that's what keeps me pushing on, you know, and, and, and it's a goal, it's something to work towards, it's, it's exciting. You know, otherwise I will only be doing something else and want to be doing better in that every time. So, you, you know, you kind of keep, want to keep improving. And as the fights go on, the opponents get better. So you feel like you yourself is getting better. And if you're not, then you want to. So that always keeps pushing you on and everything. You know, it's, it's exciting. It's part of the game. Sixty-six kilogram four-man tournament fighting out of the blue corner. It's Charlie Boy. Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, the promoter of Lion Fight Promotions, Mr. Scott Kent, is now presenting the trophy. It feels, it feels amazing to win the four-man tournament. The fight in America is just part and parcel of the game. You know, if, if, if it wasn't for the four-man, I'd only be chasing that in my next fight, yeah. you know, so the fact that I've been given the opportunity now that I've proven it, you know, that's, that's, that's just great, you know, it's good. It's a good way to start the year as well, because it's in January. I mean, Fabio Pink is, you know, it's a tough fight. I know a lot about him. I've watched him for years. I've watched many of his fights. I know he's had like 120 odd fights. You know, he's, he's won the majority of them. He's a, he's a high profile fighter. He's highly ranked and, and, and he's one of the top fighters in the world. I feel like he's coming to an end uh, in, a, in a respectful way, you know, and I feel like it's, it's, it's now my time to, to prove it. Fine for that. January 29th, if you're tired of the cold and you want to come to Southern California, come watch your hometown hero fight for the world title against Fabio Pinka. Did you not hear that? World title against Fabio Pinka! <laughs>